Hello everyone, this is Know Your Mac on YouTube.com and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to remove apps from your launch pad. And I'm making this video because for whatever reason Apple did not include a simple straightforward way to do this. So if I go ahead and view my launch pad, I have some of these apps and I've dragged out one over here that I just don't know what they are and that's because they have come with another application install. So uh, I really don't need this on my launch pad. It's just going to be accessed by some other application when it's needed, but I don't need to actually use it. Unfortunately, there's no real built-in way to remove them. There is one way to remove some apps, which is just by holding down option and you'll see you get this little X on some applications, but that's only on apps that have come from the App Store. Anything else that has not, like this over here, it just simply cannot be deleted. So you kind of have to use a few workarounds to do that. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is go and download this piece of software called SQLite Database Browser. I've included a link to that in the description of this video. And this will just let us actually edit the Launchpad database. So after you've done that and you've unzipped it and opened it up, we have to actually obtain the database file. Now the path where this is located at is your username slash library slash application support slash doc. Unfortunately, for whatever reason, Apple decided that that path should not be accessible to us because we shouldn't have access to that library folder. So I do have a workaround to get to that as well. Now, uh, my finder window already has it in the sidebar from my Snow Leopard install, as you can see here. But all you have to do to actually get there is just pop open terminal, which is a system utility. Uh, most people have it in their utilities folder in their launch pad or just spotlight it. Uh, and you're just going to type in open library and that's it. And you can see this little window pops up and if we go and look at the path on the bottom, it gives you your username and then library. So from there, we'll just go to doc, I'm sorry, application support and then doc. And then this is the file that we get. Now this should be the only file that uh, you have in here. If you have any others, I don't really know why uh, you would, but uh, it basically is just a .db file. The first thing you always want to do is make a backup of this by just option clicking and dragging it to your desktop. I've already done that, so I won't do it again. But just in case you mess something up, you can always replace it so that uh, nothing gets hurt. So now what we want to do is go into our SQLite database browser and click on open. And then we can just drag this file into the file browser of that application. And we get some confusing information, but uh, all we have to do is go to browse data and select apps from this table drop down menu. Now, unfortunately, I haven't found a way to quickly access a certain app based on its name. You can't really sort. Uh, so you just got to kind of look for it. It's a little bit annoying, but it's not that bad. So I'm looking for one that says Mac UI. So I'm just going to scroll down here and look for it here. And here it is. Now, just in case you have two applications that have the same name for whatever reason, put one inside a folder and one outside a folder. And then this category ID will basically tell you if it's inside a folder or not. So this Mac UI, it doesn't have any value for category ID because you can see it's just open on the launch pad, not inside any one of these folders here. If I did throw it in, let's say this folder here, then there would indeed be a number under category ID. So in order to, to delete it, we first have to select the number to the left of it. Don't select each cell individually, select the entire row, just like if you were selecting a row in Excel or numbers. And then you're just gonna click on delete record up here. And that's pretty much it. So let's just save this. And then we're gonna pop back into terminal and type in kill all one word no caps and then doc with a capital D now you can see the your uh, your uh, wallpaper will flash for a second and your doc will go back out and come back in but if we go in our launch pad that application is gone 
So that's pretty much it. I hope you've enjoyed this video and make sure to subscribe for more Mac related and line related tutorials.